so I ended up texting Jill and Sarah because Peppa mm -hmm. had basically had this massive sneezing fit, which went on for minutes. It was racking his entire little skin and bone body. Oh. Like his entire body was <laughs> like this. Oh. Horrible to watch. Do that again, Hannah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Yeah, so he had a massive coughing fit and I, I just didn't know how to get him out of it because he was clearly starting to struggle to get a good amount of oxygen in. Um, and I, I just didn't know what to do. And I texted, obviously, as I say, Sarah and Jill. And by the time, because understandably, they're not at the end of the phone. So within a couple of minutes, I had settled down, but it had taken him to go on to Kyle um, and he was looking Kyle's beard, and that calmed him down. And I honestly think it was tell me what you think, <laughs> but I honestly think it was the swallowing because he likes licking beards and things like that. And I did wonder if it was the swallowing. <laughs> um, but Sarah, you'd said about just putting them in a, a steamy kind of room, you know, just getting a bit mm -hmm. of steam and in, in to just try and calm their lungs down a little bit. I don't know what you think of that, Catherine. But also the other one that Jill suggested was putting oil on their tummy to get them to just lick up some oil a little bit. The most valid response probably is distraction. Um, so if you can if you can do something, anything to refocus them, sometimes that will break them out of a cycle. Because, you know, the more you cough or sneeze, sometimes the more it irritates, so the more you do it. Um, and a lot of the time, medically, when we can't stop them from coughing or sneezing, we'll do something that has anti-inflammatory action, so that breaks the cycle. So if you can catch it and give them something different to focus on, that can sometimes break the cycle. There's not an awful lot you can do a lot of the time. There's, you know, sometimes they get something up their nose or in the back of their throat that irritates. They will cough and sneeze until it's gone or until something distracts them from doing it. Um, so as long as I mean ferrets won't often get foreign bodies that they inhale because they've got very small nostrils mm -hmm. you'd be surprised at some of the things that I've pulled out of dogs noses but ferrets oh, are really seen. <laughs> oh, no. I had I had two in two consecutive days one was um a, a piece of reed that was about four inches long in a spaniel like and just outside reed not like a flute not not like a plain person no. just a that would be tricky to inhale <laughs> <laughs> So it was it was it was really big oh, um, wow. and then we had a I think it was a dog de Bordeaux something like that that had um, a big grass seed stuck up there um, oh. but ferrets can't really snort those kind of things they're too small to do that um, I still remember I still, I, chopping. I still remember they, I still they can remember. get chicken bones and things stuck and they, they stick their noses in dust and inhale things that irritate so they do often have sneezing fits and they're usually self-limiting. Presumably if they're doing a lot of coughing and it's not stopping or it's not going away, you know, that's when you book in to, for an appointment to see if there's something underlying, yeah. like you would Absolutely. with a human. But if it's just the kind of one-off and you know it's because they're, if they're anything like my may love a new cat's litter tray with wood litter in it and they'll go out of their way to dig right through it. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then <laughs> why, mm -hmm. why, you know, they're sneezing. So um, they have a knack of digging in the dustiest bits of the corners oh, that you haven't found yeah. as well. So, yeah, 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 yeah. So on the whole, then it is just a case of if it's a one off, if you can see what the reason for it is, if it's not continual, if it's not ongoing, then just some sort of distraction technique. Um, yeah. Just try and bring them out of that as a habit, as a, a, mm. a that, that idea to just distract them. Distraction technique, Hannah. Thank you.